you know that movie scene, all right? That that that, that guy grabbed the Bible and beating the zombie in the head. Yeah. You guys are the zombies. Yeah. You know, we all here. We got to, you know, hit you with the spirit. We giving you the antidote. Oh, I said, I said that. <laughs> but you know, yeah. we're giving, you know, we're giving you the, the heal. Yeah. You know, I was meditating on that, man. Like we just, we're, we're being used. All right. That's what the servant is. All right. We're not here to be called elder or, you know, like, you know, Apostle. yeah, but we understand that these are titles, yeah. but it's not going to our head. Right. You know, brothers and sisters, they say beautiful words to us, but we're not, it's not going because they're, they're expressing how they feel because how the Lord's using us, you know? Exactly. That, that's all it is. So we get that, you know, none of us up here like, all right, well, good point. Like the, like brother Marar, he's our camp, camp leader, you know, but brothers are humble. But according to scriptures, he's the elder of the church. But he just doesn't walk around and we're, hey, hey, elder. Like, you know what I mean? Right. But these are just positions we have, but it don't go to our head. Like when you're at work, your job title shouldn't go to your head. Like day right. day. Uh, uh, next, next Friday. Friday. Prime example. Oh, you're, you're in the spirit of a top flight security guard. I'm ready to die for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> he That's got a, no gun. That was a real spirit. <laughs> right. You're right, you got no power. You know, you're a super high priest, but you got no fucking power. Right. right. Shut up. Sit down. Oh, sit, sit down. Be humble. Sit, sit down. down. You know? Yep. <laughs> Do you want that now? Or you uh, keep going in that keep person? Is that it? That's no, no. Hard. Oh, yeah. That's, that's good. good. It's, it's going to get good. All right, so quick, yeah, quick, quick. Okay. All right. I'll, 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 this is Luke 10 and um, 16. He that heareth you heareth me. Right. So for all the sheep out here, if you hear us, you hear the name, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh, we're telling you to repent. And this resonates with your spirit, okay? And we're, we're piping up to you and you mourn it. And you start starting to cry to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. That's a good thing. Yep. All right. That means you hear Yahweh Bashem Yahushai because we're, we're the voice piece of the Lord. That's what the prophets are. You see? And it reads, and he that despises you. Right. Because why? Because they hate him. They're rebuking in the gate. Okay? But really, you don't hate us from rebuking in the gate. You hate the spirit that we're coming in. You know? Men of darkness rather than light. Yeah. And and he that despises you. But it's gonna get real spooky in that darkness, man. You know? And the Lord could just take you, just have you drop from a heart attack. You know, on camera. Yeah. You know? Then bring you back and have you drop again. As a Lord, you know. <laughs> it says, and he and he that despises you despises me. Yeah. And he that despises me. Despises him that sent me. So it's a chain of command. You know, you don't despise us, you despise your Yahweh Shai, but you're really despising Yahweh. Because as I said earlier, this is the compassion. You know, actually, let's get that, Chronicles 36. You getting it? Yeah, I get it for you. He got that, that, uh, Yunam and Thunam. He got that tablet, which is spiritual because we started with tablets in the beginning. And now as we come to the kingdom, it's back to tablets. That's nothing but ancient technology, you know? Yep. Ain't nothing wrong with using that, <laughs> especially in this weather. Right. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> one right now. Yeah. Right. St. Chronicles 36 and in verse 15, and it says, oh, no, And the Lord God of their fathers sent to them by his messengers, rising up big times and sending. Right, when it says big times, meaning early, man. Mm -hmm. Early, we come out here at 12. Some brothers come out, you know, because it's real cold, and then as, as it gets later in the day, it gets colder and colder. So, we're not gonna be over righteous and have brothers out here for uh -huh. three, four hours getting frostbite. You know, we come out here to, to feed the sheep, you know, because we love the Hobby Shimmel Shah, and we love the sheep too. And we know how, how you know, important it is for the sheep to see us out here, man. Well, that's the Lord putting necessity in our spirit. Yeah. See, all the all the things we feel and do, you know, through this ministry is the Lord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that fervent spirit, you know, like being pumped up, you know, and getting out here. That's all just the Lord putting that in our spirit. Yeah, you know? the, the necessity is laid upon us, man. Because if you really knew what brothers went through to get to camp, you know, you'd be like, man, call all you how about something like that. But hey, you got to do it. You know, some days you'd be tired, some days you'd be up super early. You know, you have ups and downs in this thing. Some days your body be hurt. Hell, some camps you'd be sick. But you like, fuck it, man. We we out there. Yeah. You know, because at the end of the day, we're working out our own salvation. You know, we're we're trying to get that crown. You know? Yeah. And then uh 
and then ultimately being in the spirit of Paul, I know there's a crown laid up for me. Yeah. Confidence. You know? Faith. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta have that. You gotta have that. Yeah. Got to. Uh, back in Chronicles, and it says, um, rise up be times and sending because he had yeah, to. Yeah, it's fucking uh, nine degrees out here, man. We ain't gonna front and be like it's not cold, but hey, we just, we just gonna man, we just gonna take it on the chin, right? Because guess what? This is part of the chastisement. This is part of us being uh, tried as gold in the fire. Because honestly, where are these other guys at? Right? There, there's more camps in Rochester, man. There's not, not some new uh, fucking uh, IUIC, right? GOCC, ISUBK. They're all out here, but they're not out here. You see? Goddamn classroom somewhere with the hot ass cocoa with their feet, with their feet up. Standing up? Yep. Yep. Gyrating to the new moon. And it says. <clears throat> my bad. It says, rise up be times and sending because he had compassion on his people. Right, but, and compassion is love, man. Compassion is, is, is mercy. You know, compassion is pity. Tells you that in, in the Sirach, the second chapter, man. The Most High is, is uh, very compassionate, very pitiful, mm -hmm. and forgive his sins and save it in the time of affliction. You know? And it says, <clears throat> and on the dwelling place. Yeah, and let me say this. For, the, for all this law, law, there's no mercy in that. Exactly. There's no mercy, no. bro. Like, no. God, we mean. Like, dude, bro, where's some mercy at? You know? Give us some mercy, man. That's what we need. We are, we're in captivity. We're worms. Jeez. You're just a worm in captivity, man. Mm -hmm. You know, what can you do? A worm can't do a shit. Wiggle. You know, but, but stay in the soil. Stay, right? you know, stay yep. by the water, man. Just try and wiggle, wiggle your way out of situations. But guess what, man? This worm is going to transform into a life. Yep. You know? And yep. it says, <clears throat> it says, if, but, but they mock the messengers of the Most High. Yeah, they mock us. Because right now, from us being out here, they'll say, oh, you guys are dumbest. Snow you, dummies. You snow dummies. You know? But hey, the Lord, but, hey, the Lord said that, uh, you know, this is the foolishness of preaching. Didn't say we are fools for Hamashiach's sake? Yep. We are fools for Yahweh's sake. We're infatuated with Yahweh's sake. Look that word up, man. Right, because why are we fools? Because at the end of the day, prophecy is going to come to pass. Not because we're standing out here. Yeah, the Lord don't need us. At the end of the day, the elect is going to be sealed. Whether we do this or not. Yeah, he can raise up rocks. That's what you got to understand, you know? Yep. And that's what keeps us humble instead of like, you know, because that, that's one thing too. A guy could have Satan on him like, man... If I ain't out there, it's gonna crumble. You what? The most I don't need. You don't know. Yeah, so that keeps us humble. Like the ball's gonna keep rolling. The you show, know? the show must go it's on. It's gonna go on. You know? You've had movies where um you've had a guy cast for a role and the relationship between him and the director didn't work out, they put a new person in there. Mm -hmm. And you would have never known unless you look look into it, you know? Like we uh Transformers. My man uh Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf, yep. They put my, uh, Mark Wahlberg. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Yep, yep. Or like uh, uh, Will Smith was supposed to be um, from Matrix. Yep. Supposed to be Neil. Yep. yep. But he turned down the role to play the Wild Wild. That's fucking music, man. <laughs> never like that, man. <laughs> that's got entangled, man. <laughs> and it says, and despised his words and misused his prophets. And to the wrath of the Lord arose against his people See? till there was no remedy. Yep. Yeah. So the wrath got to come. Yeah. Because they're despising the word and the misusing the prophet. Called his prophets gay, pieces of shit. People. That was crazy, man. Yeah, man. You know, like there's, you know, that's one thing too. You know, the problem is Israel hasn't merged the truth with reality. Yeah. You're in a mytho mythological mindset. You're in, the, you're in the fucking metaverse. You're, you're in the metaverse, man. We're actually in the real world, okay? Yeah. We out here in the streets. You know, yeah. like we were at, we were camping. They had to get to their car. Yeah. They were not going to be like, all right, just take your shoes off this holy crap. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Like, give me the axe. Like, we moved out their way, and then we continue teaching because we're in reality. You guys are not in reality, you see? So you say things, and while I'm saying all that, it's like, you wouldn't call an older, uh, an elderly man a piece of shit. You got fucking uh, social media confused with real life. Thank you. But you call Elder Apostle Ramlov a piece of S? That's, that's messed up, man. That's messed up. You know? Because you're not in reality. We're in reality. All right? And, and in reality, 
you can't uh, uh, live by the laws perfectly in reality here. You know, women. And what about Satan? Hey, the law says I can't murder my wife. Well, Satan could jump on her. Yep. You had a woman saying how she wants a man, but she's not in the polygamy. Well, the law says that you can do that. Yeah. So you, she needs to go find a bishop there. It's actually a, 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 a rightful thing. Yeah. You see? It was actually better that way. Delusional, man. Jake's delusional. Then the one can help the other. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y'all can help each other cook. Cook that mac and cheese. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, that was it for trying to cook. Back in Acts. Yep. Back in Acts 5 and 5. And it says, and, and uh, Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghost. Oh, man. <laughs> and great fear. The Lord just took him. <laughs> now, he could have yep. had a heart attack. We don't, we don't know. Uh, remind me of that movie, The Frighteners, you know, where they had uh, the Grim Reaper just going around taking people's spirits, mm. you know? And they had them numbered. Yeah. Well, it says uh, he number up the steps. Well, the, the, the days are determined. Yep. yep. You know? got bombs you can't pass. Mm -hmm. And the covenant of the grave, it ain't showing us you. Right. You know? So you don't, that's why you gotta, that's why you gotta make haste to serve your by Shimmy al because you don't know when you're gonna die. Right? Yeah, because you could be fringed out getting ready to eat a suckling lamb and choke on it, yep. you know? It says that we're a vapor. No, our life is a vapor. Yep. And it also it says, and great fear came on all them that heard these things, Woo. and the young men arose. See, that, that's what's coming back on yes. the earth, man. The fear of Yahweh you you Bashem Yahweh right. is coming back. Yes, man. bro. Call Allah Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Bashem Yahweh. And you know what, last year, was the most death I saw of uh, Israelites. Yeah. Israelite men. You guess what? That that it's gonna be more of that shit, man. Yep. Right. It's just the beginning. Yep. You know? Yep. You know, sorry. There's gonna be a lot of RIPs. Another fallen soldier. You know, I remember in the, in the world, Jake's to have a, a picture of the love phone on that t-shirt. Yep. And now it's gonna be on the first t-shirt. Yep. You know? And it says. Y'all just, really, y'all just niggas with fringes. You could feel it, bro. Death is coming to That's Jake. That's why the spirit is on you. You could feel it. Death yep. is coming. This was, this is, this, this was all set up so the Lord could weed you out. He, he's, he's, he's sifting. He's weeding. Well, you he's know? searching all Jerusalem yep. with candles. Yep. You know, and you gonna have your candle put out. Yep. Yep. If man, you don't repent, died. man. We ain't gonna be out here much longer. And it says, and the young men arose. Uh, wound, excuse me, I forget that stupid part. My bad. It says, And great fear came on all them that heard these things, and the young men arose. The bright ones. So when the Lord rises they up his, uh, his, uh, his fishers and make them hunters and give them that power, man, who do you think they're going to hunt? You two third niggas. The niggas that were on the internet talking shit, scoffing about the men of the Lord. The Lord got something special for you, man. Right. You know? Right. And it says, and, and the young men arose, wound him up, and carried him out and buried him. And it was about the, the space of to three. Bury his ass, man. We'll put him in a body bag. <laughs> yeah. Like, my man, what one, one, one of them guys said that. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, put his body bag in a body bag. <laughs> he said, have him hanging out the bag like a hash <laughs> Man, great judgment is coming, man. Damn. Hey, the Lord, the Lord is funny like that, man. Hey, the Lord said we shall mock me and calamity come. Yeah, yeah. We're going to mock you, man. Y'all yeah. mocking us now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we going to, the he who last, last, last best, man. Right. We're going to get the last, last. You know, all praise y'all by the way. All right. And it goes in and say, and it was about the space of three hours after when his wife, not knowing what was done, so came. She, so she didn't even know her husband was in the spirit world. You know, yeah, he's out here, yeah. he's out here, scheming. You know, scheming. Like, oh yeah, we got him. Bro. We got this over here. Okay, you know, great. You they, don't, they don't know. Oh, thinking themselves to be in a good case. Yep. <laughs> and it says, not knowing what was done, came in. <laughs> and Peter answered well, to well, her. right into the lion's den. Right. Man. <laughs> and Saint Peter answered unto her. He said, uh, "Tell me whether." He sold the lamb for so much, and she said, yay, for so much. But Peter said unto her. So he was like, so you sold it for 50, if you will? <laughs> She's like, yeah, we sold it for 50. Right. You know, like this is how much, this is what you made, right? You know, mm -hmm. like the that spirit, like mob be doing. That's actual real spirit where somebody 
will ask you a question they know the answer to. Yep. Just so you can lie, so then they got the right to judge you. Well, hey, by that word shall thou be justified, and by that word shall thou be condemned. Yep. Right. You know? Now, yeah. maybe if she would have came out and told the truth, you would have mercy. mercy. Right. But so, she she had the, so she had the opportunity to confess and be like, yep. y'all, you know what, man? We yep. fucked up. Ananias made me do it. <laughs> like Nabal and his uh, right. Abigail, right? right. Yeah, yeah, like yep. he did. But yep. she wasn't in the Abigail spirit. Right. She wanted to be a demon like her man. Well, yep. Abigail was actually, you know, a decent woman. So the yep. Lord killed Nabal, right, and gave Abigail to David. Yep. Right. And Abigail actually uh, stopped uh, David uh, from going to kill uh, Nabal. Yeah, David was pissed off, man, because David was a good brother to Nabal. He took care of his flock. You know, he, he, he took care of him. He took care of his men. He took care of him. Yeah. You know, he didn't do him no evil. Nope. He was a brother of him. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He's like, damn, man. He, he said, David me, who? You going to treat me like this? Yeah. Okay. And Nabal beats fool. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it says, then Peter said to her, how is it that you have agreed together to tempt the spirit of the Lord, behold, the that, hey, that's what you guys are doing. You're resisting the Holy Spirit. You're frustrating the grace. Mm -hmm. You're also tempting the spirit. You know? Yeah. And it says, behold, the feet of them which had buried thy husband are at the door and shall carry thee out. <laughs> it says, Man, that, that's far. <laughs> it really is, though. <laughs> no, I was just thinking, it really is, though. <laughs> and, uh, oh, keep reading, keep reading. Yep. And it says, and it says, then, uh, then, then fell she down straightway at his feet. Not like this. Yeah, yeah. Yep. For the scene in Matrix, that's that account, man. Yep. When uh, my man, uh, 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 um, yeah, but the guy that fell, he was in the movie uh, 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 Once Were Warriors. Okay. Oh, Nick, yeah, 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 Nick. yeah, 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 Nick. In the yeah. movie, he played in Once Were Warriors, which is um, Jake out in New Zealand. When he fell, uh, old girl said, not like this, and then, bow, she mm -hmm. dropped right with him. They got that from Acts 5, man. Yep. Yep. Both of them dropped together. Yep. Him first, then her. Yep. You know? Not like this. She said, not like this, then, yep. then bow. Mm -hmm. Took her right out, man. See? Then he got the knee and he just got that. Yep. yep. And it says, uh, then, then fell she down straightway at his feet, and yielded up the ghost, and the young men came in and, and found her dead, and carried her forth, uh, uh, and carrying. So the Lord's about to start judging you scammers in Israel. Right. You know? Yep. You little, making your little corny ass fringes. I saw this stupid ass, uh, uh, cause I'll be, I'll be, uh, I'll be watching. You know what I mean? Like, right. I'll be spying up. And the Lord has certain brothers watching certain things. Yeah. What else, what else am I doing with my life? It's my life. You know? This is what I do. I sit back and I watch, you know? I'm going to sit there and, you know what I mean? That's this is what I prefer. This is what the Lord's put on my spirit. So anyway, I showed the brother last night. They're selling ski masks with Judah over the, the one eye and then a sewed teardrop on a ski mask. Man, you get a little <laughs> frustrated, bro. Man. Like, you just want to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, like, the, I hate niggas. Jake, Jake can't escape that nigga Man, spirit, yeah, man. bro, I hate that. That's that. Just stay, in the, just stay in the world. Bro, uh, applies 2003. Right, just stay in the fucking world, man. You know, just get the teardrop tattoos. Right. Get the little fucking bag with the, with the, with the, with the, with the gun that you're But see, having. we're in the uh, we're in the spirit of like uh, when OG Bobby Johnson, you know, yeah. he got his teardrop removed. Yeah. He, he got out and took got his kid, man. Yeah. He took his kid from the grass of these wicked niggas. You know, reform. You see, we're in the spirit of reforming ourselves. We're in the spirit to motivate one another. We're in the spirit to be alive through the Lord, man. To edify, to build up, not break down, not destroy, but to create, you know, to, yeah. you know, to right. expand. Yeah, bro. To really take back this kingdom. Yes. You know? Yes. Man. We're all about growing over here, man. In the spirit. Yep. Well, you know? he, he uh, shall be like a tree planted. By the rivers of water, you know? Yeah, man. Look at the trees, you see? You know, you got the trees behind us. You know, strong. You can't knock that down. Even this tree ain't even near no water. You can't knock that down. You know, as a man, you can't push that over. So how much more a tree by water? The, the living water, you know? That's what we're becoming, pillars. That's what it's talking about, pillars, you know? Real leaders. Uh, I'll take one. The, 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 
going to do a couple of calls, man. And uh, just, just, just to finish it off, X5 and verse, um, uh, damn, where's that? Verse 10, and it says, And this proves this, Esau's garbage because we got winter boots and our feet are still cold. Right. We need to buy some boots from Russia or something. Right. Babylon's garbage. Right. Babylon is garbage. Man, I hate, I, I hate you if you want to stay here. You know? I don't want to stay here, man. Technology. Yeah, the brother phone died again. The, te the technology can't even keep up with the elements. Right. You know? We need new. We just know? need the kingdom. We don't need Hebrews and Hellcats. Right. Man. Fuck. Right. Man, we, need, right. we need repentance. It's right. crazy how how whack Jake can be and y'all like whackness. Jake, you're on a fucking low level. Horny, man. I'm sorry, man. Jake, you're on a low Horny. level, bro. You're just in another American. Man. I gotta, I gotta cook one. It's crazy how low man. level Jake is. We know it's the spirit. But to really see it, like our people are on a low ass level, man. Well, he call it the big house, cause he's big. They don't have the ruling class mentality. <laughs> you know what I mean, though? Yeah. What the hell, bro? Dumb down, take his dumb the fuck down, man. Whole head is sick. A nigga can't think past his hood. Damn. <laughs> well, you, well, you, I ain't gonna say it, man. But you know, niggas got the garment on, with throwing up a, a gang. gang <laughs> they were tagging the yo. They were. Yeah. Putting graffiti on a train with fringes on, and then he's saying how he wears his ops colors. You have ops? What, what, what? Red, white, and blue? You're talking about Esau? Right. No, he ain't. He's talking about other Jay. What, bro? Hey, don't dislike it, bro. But guys like that, they remind me of the, uh, those dudes off the, uh, the, what's that movie, uh, Team NT? Uh, uh, the fucking Foot Clan, man. Yep. You know, the fucking yep. minions. Yep. Oh. But back to you know uh, the point about the being low level, you know. This is Galatians six and verse three. It says, and I'm gonna say this too. I want to say this, man. Man, Jake just needs to be healed, man. Yeah, man. You and know, that's what we all here. We, we, we yeah. understand that. We under we under. It's no personal hatred, okay? Now we may speak of frustration because of the situation we're in, but at the end of the day, we know in the spirit that our people need healing, man. Every every Israelite. Needs to be taken from America. We need Yahweh Shai. Whether you agree or not, okay, whether you think you shouldn't worship Yahweh Shai, you need healing, bro. You truly need to be healed. You're sick. We see it in your face. You need a physician. You need a, you, you see the dark circles in your eyes. You need to be healed, man. Right. You know? You're going on 30 years old, standing in front of a gas station, bro. What are you doing, man? Right. You need Yahweh Shai, bro. Our people need to be truly delivered, man. You don't understand. You don't know what terrain you're on, man. <laughs> just <need> a <laughs> real, no real shit. Yeah. You know, there's a fun, there's a study done. A eight second hug takes away seventy percent of depression. Ooh. Yeah. Eight second hug takes yeah. away seventy percent of depression. Yep. You know, hey, yep. we love each other up here, man. You know. Yep. It, yeah, yeah. Oh, have you ever heard that term? Just hug it out. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yep. Ah, man, That's for all, I, we need to put that on record for y'all to know. Mm -hmm. Alright? We may get frustrated with Jake, but it's not uh to the point of pure hatred. Nope. You know? Alright, it's not personal. We we we, we don't be good in the kingdom. Yeah, we there it is. You know, on the other side we'll be good, like, but right now, you know, you gotta get it talking to. Yep, like uh, <laughs> Elder Pastor said, he said we love Raptor News now, and through the spirit I get what he meant. Because he's finally mm -hmm. now in his original self. Because like um oh good point. The Wadi Abbasamel Shai, a good point is like um Remember, uh, you, I'll, I'll, I'll give you brothers one. Low down, dirty shame. Yep, yep, yep. Now remember Jada Pinkett when she punched a dude. Because remember, she punched yep, a dude. Yep. But she punched him because of him as an actor on a TV show. Yep. That's not who he really is. Right. So like Rap the News, we didn't like because his at, who he was in the movie. But right. that's not really who he is. Right. Like Alizar, that's yep. this ain't really you, brother. Right. This is who you've been casted to be. But God, that's not you, brother. You, this ain't who you're supposed to, you know. Your you ain't in your original self yet. Beautiful. So when you when you die and go to spirit realm, we are gonna love you, man. We got just your lot on this side. We can't love you right now because it's evil. Remember, hate evil and love good. Yep. So when you go back to the spirit realm, that's where you become good, and that's when we'll love you. Well, somebody had to play that role, you know, of of have we not cast out devils in my name. Lord's got to say it to someone. No, that's willing, all. Lord willing, that's all. You know, Lord willing, you repent. 
Get up, he dope. Today, the Lord said that the angels rejoice in the center of the saints. And you know why? That would be beautiful because it will magnify the name of the Lord, man. And, and we we love we love calling on the Lord. So to see other brothers in the spirit, not just that you're an Israelite, man, that would that'd be awesome. My spirit's been heavy on repentance since I came in. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. brother, no, it's all I used to talk about. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, repentance is a beautiful thing. Yeah, because when I first came out, I was just talking about destruction. <laughs> but we had to grow. We had to grow and learn, you know. Then the Lord will have will switch it, have you go into exhorting, have this brother go into that. It's the, that's just the Lord doing it, you know. Look at it. Look what the Lord doing, man. See that? Look at that. Have your fringes on and off. Damn. It's happening. <laughs> These people are through, man. Yeah, bro, there's a lot of judgment. You yeah. Yeah. Galatians 6 and 3. For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceived excuse me, he deceived it himself. That's why you gotta be humble, man. Nope. Humility before honor. Right. What we're going through right now is uh, humiliation. You know, we got to come out here and proclaim who we are when in our spirit we know who we are. Right. That's that's humiliation. Man. Right. You know, we're not in our land. <laughs> that's humiliation. We're out here in the you know in the in the elements. That's, that's yeah. chastisement and humiliation. Yeah. So we've made a spectacle unto men. Yeah. You know, they drive by laughing at us and sitting. We're in their way. You know, I mean, at least she said, excuse me, right? You know, but you see, we got to get out of people's way, which we do, yeah. you know. But this is the back in First Chronicles is uh, stand up, beat times in the path, the compassion, yeah. And that's why we stand here, so we're not in the way of these people, they gotta they're playing their role too, yeah. you know. Like when we first used to come out, hey man, everybody got it now. We've grown in the spirit, you know, we don't gotta uh, talk to everybody, right? You know, now the Lord has got oh, and then we're getting mocked and scoffed for that. Because we talk to the camera. <laughs> you but, but you could talk to the camera in a music video. Right. You need to be healed, bro. Right. You need to be healed, man. You got sheep with him. That's believe. all. Yeah, One minute you love me, the next minute you hate me. Yeah. I'm yeah. ducking uh, daggers and dodging javelins, javelins and shit. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> all because I like the ball bike. Proverbs 15 and verse 33. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yo, I've been looking for this glove the whole camp, and oh, it wow. slid down my pants. <laughs> How do you got to deal with out here, bro? Nothing strange. Nothing strange. I was looking for this thing the whole camp. <laughs> so like, yeah, I'm sorry, bro. Good, bro. A, pro a Proverbs 15 and verse 33, it says, The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is and, humility. And what's the instruction? Give me Deuteronomy. Bro, oh, there's more instructions than Deuteronomy. You know, when you look at it, and if you just applied the laws, hey, bro, you you would you you'd be lacking because it's also in the spirit. You know, you're just sitting there, don't eat pork. Well, why don't eat pork? Don't eat pork. Like there's there's there, you gotta you gotta add flavor. You gotta expound. You gotta thank you. You gotta expound on it. You gotta break it down. That's where the wisdom comes in. You know, and I was like saying, I was like using that example, like adultery. You know, you, we understand why uh, that shouldn't be. You know, we understand why evil should be cut off. These are things we're understanding, just like with the fringes. We understand why fringes were put at the border. Okay, so now with understanding that, it, uh, we don't have to uh, uh, have the fringes on not to do that. You know. Uh, Proverbs 15 and verse 33. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. Right, Yahweh Shai is the perfect example. Yahweh Shai got buffeted, <clears throat> they, they smote him, they spit upon him. When, while he was on the cross, they were talking shit to him. You know, they're saying, if you're the son of God, get down and save yourself. But he endured all that, and now he sits at the right hand of Yahweh. See? Mm -hmm. Every, everlasting uh, glory. That's why we're despised here. Yeah. You know? What, I, like I speak, you know, for myself, but I'm sure you brothers could agree. The norm, the majority of people we deal with are rude to us, but but complete strangers will be like in awe about us. Exactly. You know, oh man, you're you're a breath of fresh air. That's what you know. Someone told me 
a woman, you know, just being uh, uh, how the Lord is creating us. But you, the average people, they don't feel that way they about don't, they you. Don't see that. They don't. Thank you.